Did you ever injure yourself on this? Is it dangerous? It can be if you're really not paying attention. Uh, Dang, yeah. that's really scary. <laughs> so yeah, I always wondered that with green cards because you're like a one woman machine. I mean, it's all you. So you come up with the witty phrases and the art and everything. Long Beach today, I'm going to film a friend of mine who owns a vintage printing press. So I'm excited to take this little road trip all by myself. Made it to Long Beach. Hi, Rochelle. Rochelle invited us into her vintage printing press, and she's gonna show us how she works. I'm gonna see a little ink. Yeah. Ink varies in uh, viscosity, so mm -hmm. you can see it's a little stringy can be affected by the heat, the additives that you put in it, you can stiffen it up. And today we're running something that has a really large coverage, so you want to have it be a little on the runny side. This might be a little bit too runny. So I'm gonna add a little bit of magnesium powder. Oh, wow. Very unofficial amounts <laughs> of it. So where do you get the ink from? Just at most, you know, commercial paper stores. Mm -hmm. You can also have custom inks made for you in different Pantone colors. A lot of times I'll hand mix ink if I'm doing something special for mm -hmm. wedding clients. So then it's kind of like painting. You have to mix your color based on color wheel spectrums. Is that pretty tricky? Once you understand color, it's not as tricky as it sounds. Okay. So how long have you been working on cards? I've been printing for over 10 years. Kind of started as like weekend print classes over mm -hmm. at Otis College and sort of went awry. <laughs> <laughs> It's just been a great love of mine mm -hmm. for as long as I can remember and I remember having a conversation with college girlfriends about our dream jobs and mine was to be a greeting card designer. Yeah. My career duties up till now has sort of led me to be able to do it full time. Mm -hmm. I'm really fortunate to have worked in design and advertising for a bunch of years and I got to learn from the best and the brightest in the community. And where do you go to get inspiration for your greeting cards? When I walk into stores that sell greeting cards, they really brighten your day, and they do. They inspire me, and I know they inspire a lot of other people. A lot of times it's my husband. <laughs> he says little quirky things that I end up then stealing from him quite often. Names of songs, mm -hmm. um, Pinterest. Absolutely. Nature. Uh, conversations with my friends are yeah. a really big inspiration. Literally, is every card, do you run it through one by one and press it one by one? Every single wow. Card, every single color. So when you buy a letter pressed card, that's, mm -hmm. there are automated presses that can handle an automated, you know, mm -hmm. thousand cards an hour, but if somebody says they're hand printing, each piece of paper is being run through, each color is separate. So if you buy a three color greeting card, it's been hand printed, mm -hmm. somebody has run that card through the press three separate times. That's why they're so expensive. People want to know they are. Why, it, why it is yeah. why they're so expensive. We've been standing, you know, for yeah. eight hours to print a set of greeting cards. So. Mm -hmm. Well, they're definitely made with a lot of love. <laughs> Do you ever collaborate with other artists? I 
too. I actually have some Christmas cards, which Ooh. are adorable, that I collaborated with th uh, third graders. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, how did that happen? So each child was allowed to draw something winter themed. Oh, how cute. Um, they were also le learning cursive handwriting at the time, so each uh -huh. of their names are done in cursive around the edge. And I fell in love with a few of the drawings. Kids, that's another good source of inspiration because they have such amazing imaginations. Yeah. So that's really that's really special. I've also had one of my designs picked up by Urban Outfitters. So that's I been, saw that on your website. That's yeah, awesome. It's been available on their website um, most recently, also in their stores. But I believe that that portion of them have been sold out. Wow. So that was very exciting. Yeah. What's the most stressful part? would you say the job? Is it a high stress job or just like any job where, or is it relaxing for you to do this? Uh, there are certain parts that can be in intimidating. I would say if something's not going right on press, mm -hmm. and I have never encountered it before, mm -hmm. that's really stressful. I had a situation a couple years ago where I was running a job for another designer and it was a light lavender color. Once that lavender dried, it turned red. Oh. And I have never seen that problem before. And after cleaning the press three, four, five times, it still wasn't working. There's a local print shop here that they're kind of been my mentors. Mm -hmm. I think they're more, um, they think that I'm just a silly print girl. <laughs> you know, in her garage, the element that makes that purpley hue mm -hmm. had aged. Wow. So they don't come with expiration dates like food on them? Yeah. <laughs> there are certain colors that you can keep forever, but uh -huh. there, there's an element to um, purples, especially, that go bad. Okay. So I would not have known that had it not been for, for, for those trial and error, trial just and running error. into problems, and now you know, you'll know you know forever. <laughs> that was very frustrating. Mm -hmm. Growing up, did you like to write? Yeah, I was always a doodler, little... I remember my dad telling me when I was little that, that I was going to do something with the arts because I was always drawing pictures. Mm -hmm. I was just one of those kids who'd prefer to sit inside with their crayons yeah. and their markers versus going out and playing with yeah. the dirt. And now look at you. <laughs>